Okay. Home today, what's your back and route that vehicle? Okay. Definitely something going on with me. Oh, holy God, I was just looking at the campfire. Appreciate it. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Good, have a license? Do you have a license on this year? Where are you going to? Where do you live at? I live in Medina. Medina? You know where you're at right now, Robert? Where you at? Yeah, what exit are you at? I'm not sure. Where's my... Why aren't you sure where you're at? Why aren't you sure where, where, where you're at? I'm just trying to get help. Yeah, I, I got that. Well... Unfortunately, Mr. Sweeney, we've had not one, but two different calls on you, okay? Somebody followed you into the parking lot and saw you piss up at the fireworks store, then you hop back on, and you're going, know, you're going the wrong direction on how to get home. Where are you coming from? Is the camera on? Yep. So, are you are you carrying a firearm right now, or is it somewhere else? Uh, somewhere else. Somewhere else, so you don't have one on your person? No. Nope. All right. Well, unfortunately, you know how this goes. Um, because we got not one, but two calls on you, including the guy that just stopped here. He followed you all the way down from here. All right, so I'm going to have to have you get out of the car for me. Okay, Robert. Go ahead and step out for me, please. You're sure you're, you're, sure you're not carrying right now? You are carrying? What, where's the don't please don't touch it for me. Okay, where, where's your firearm at? On your hip. Okay. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. Just don't touch your firearm for me, okay? Just clear your hands on the car. I'm gonna treat it. Treat you. And I'm gonna remove your fire. Put your hands on the car for me. I'm gonna well, remove your firearm. Uh, Okay. Don't move your hands. Keep them up uh, until I get your weapon secured. Mr. Sweeney, go ahead and come on back here for me, okay? Yes, sir. You can stand right there my flashlight beam shining. Is that the only weapon you had on you, sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Shut your door, that way you don't get hit. Are you aware that you... Are you aware that you pissed yourself? Excuse me? Are you aware that you soiled yourself? Uh, no, no, no. Okay, well, it looks like you did, all right? Okay, so... Well, here's how I'm going to treat you like anybody else, okay? Like I say, it's different because we got two calls on you. Okay. All right? And like I say, time I was behind you, you were all over the road. Mm -hmm. All right? So, um, I'm going to run you through this 
field sobriety test, okay? And we'll go from there. But right now, because of the calls, I can't really help I'm you. I'm sorry. Much, right? So, go ahead and put your glasses on the hood of my patrol car, please. Stand right over here my flash up beam. I'm going to do that. Right? You're not going to you're not going to do them. No. Nope. Okay. Right, Very good. Well, here's what's going to happen. All right. You smell like a brewery. You've pissed yourself. We've had two calls on you, and you can't keep it between the line. And matter of fact, you can barely talk. And your eyes are really glassy and bloodshot. Right. So. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, it happens. People make mistakes. Um, have you ever been charged with an OVI before? I have. You have? How recently? Um, four or five years ago. Okay. You know what time it is right now? Yeah. What time is it? Probably about um, 11 or 12 o'clock. Okay. What time do you get off work? I got off work today about uh, 8. Well, in that what? Okay, and that, that gun was the only one you had on you? Yes, sir. Is there anything else in the car? Any other okay. firearms? Nothing else right now. Well, I don't, if you don't want to take the test, any of them, you don't want to do the one leg stand, walk and turn, no, the pen test, sure. you don't want to do any of that? Okay. Well, in your condition, I don't have much choice, all right? So okay. I'm going to ask you to face away from me. I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Okay. Sure. I'm going to put two sets on you. Do you have somebody can come help you out? Yeah. Uh, phone call? Uh, uh, She's in Medina? Yeah. I'm going to use two sets on you, okay? I hate to do this to you, but like I said, I'm sorry. That's, that's two cups. That's about as loose as I can get them, all right? Yeah, I'm cool. This is 2413. This is 2413. Wish you just would have stayed put, man. It's not like this. Yeah. You just put me in a tough spot. I'm I hate to be put in a tough spot. Sorry. I'm sorry. I understand. It happens. We all make mistakes. Do you have a phone? Do you, is it in the car? Ah, uh, yeah, it's in the car. I'm sorry. Thank you. Uh, seriously, thank you. Yeah. Seriously. Um, you stand right there for me. I'll go get your phone for you, okay? Do you know where your phone's at? No, I think it's in the, uh, the front of my uh, the car. The front? Well, it's not in your wallet. Huh? No, 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 no. I think it's in the... I uh, plugged in into my um, iPhone thing. Uh-huh. Like, uh -huh. I'll go up and look again. I think it's right in the center. It's not in the center of the console. Center console.
there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they know you're an Ashland. Hey, listen, I got pulled over, so, uh, uh they're gonna take me down, yeah, uh, they're gonna book me, and then I'll call you shortly, okay? Okay. What's the, uh, Ashley? Ashley. Alright, call me. Hey, Kim, this is Sergeant yeah. Bishop. Um, yeah. he's in pretty rough shape. Is there a way? I don't really feel like locking him up, obviously. Is there a way you can come down and pick him up? Um, yeah, can you tell me where to go? Uh, you coming from Medina? Um. Your best bet's probably just go out to 71, take that south to the... Ashland exit, which is, I think, US 250 exit number 186. You familiar with that? I think there's a big oasis or minute marks called now at that exit. Yeah. Okay, so you hop off there, you'll turn left at the traffic light at the end of the ramp, and you'll go, I think it's almost exactly one mile to the highway patrol post. Um, okay, um, is there any way that, can you um, give me a, a phone number that I can call you in case I get lost? You, you can call his phone. I'll have access to him. All right. All right. So he's, all right. It will pro we'll probably be about uh, 45 minutes or so before we get into all the paperwork. There's no super right. no super rush. All right. All right. Thanks. Um, do I need somebody to get the to get his car? Well, unfortunately, it looks like he had a, another one of these a couple years ago. So the car is not going to be subject to immobilization, so that means the license plates get taken off of it, and he's got to go through the court to get it back. All right. So I don't, ma right. I don't make those rules, and I don't have much to say on that. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you'd go ahead and start down, so I'd appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bye. You don't have to have a flathead, do you? Record does. Did you hear that, detective? About uh, I'm sorry, no, no, about your car because you had a previous one. Look here on TV, you do have to read your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Any state can't be using it in court. You have the right to an attorney. Have an attorney present with you during a questioning. You also have the right to stop answering questions at any time you speak to an attorney. Do you understand that, sir? Yes, right, sir. Okay. Your car is going to be going to the rec yard. Is there anything in there that you're going to need right now? Uh, okay. Bring this bag with us and we'll put your wallet in there.
Hey Steve, you and I'll witness this and I'll get him back for a test. See if any house keys in there. Any uh, prescription medications? I'm going to read this form to you here, okay, and that's only I'm required to. It says you're now in arrest for offering a vehicle under the influence of alcohol, a drug, or a combination, and I'm offering a vehicle all under the influence of illicit controlled substance or illicit metabolite controlled substance. Operating a vehicle after underage alcohol consumption or having physical control of a vehicle while under the influence. If you refuse to take any chemical test, which would be the breath test, required by law, your high driver privileges will be suspended immediately, and you have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you have a commercial driver's license and refuse to submit to the test or test, you will immediately be placed out of service for 24 hours. You will be disqualified for operating a commercial motor vehicle for a period of not less than one year. You'll be required to surrender your driver's license to me. If you have a prior conviction of OVI, OVUAC, or operating a vehicle while under the influence of illicit controlled substance or illicit metabolite controlled substance under state or municipal law within the preceding 20 years, you are now under arrest for state OVI, and if you refuse to take a chemical test, you will face increased penalties if you are subsequently convicted of the state OVI. That part's important. What that says, I want you to deal with these, but if, since you have a prior one within 20 years, if you refuse this one, it's going to increase the penalties. Right. Um, if you've previously pled guilty or been convicted of two or more OVIs, this doesn't apply to you, but I'm going to read it anyways. OVACs are equivalent offenses in the previous 10 years or Pled guilty or been convicted of five or more OVIs, OVACs, or equivalent offenses in the previous 20 years, or pled guilty or been convicted of a felony of any of the above violations, you refuse to submit to a chemical test required by law. I am authorized to use whatever reasonable means are necessary to ensure that you submit to a chemical test. If you take any chemical test required by law and are found to be Adderall or the driven amount of alcohol, a controlled substance, or metabolite controlled substance in your whole blood, blood serum, plasma, breath, or urine is set by law, your highway driving privileges will be suspended immediately, and you'll have to pay a fee to have the privileges reinstated. If you do take a chemical test, you may have an independent chemical test taken at your own expense. What this shows with one prior conviction, if you refuse the test, it's a suspension for two years. If you take the test, and test over legal limit, the suspension is one year. Two years for refusing, one year for taking the test and testing it. So if uh, I refuse, um, it's two years? Right. And it's also an increased penalty for the refusal of the test. If you have somebody you want to call and ask, you can do that. I'll leave yeah, that up to you. Can I uh, ask yeah. for a lawyer? You can ask for a lawyer, yeah. yeah. yeah when we get back to the patrol post, okay. I'll give you your phone. I'm not okay. going to wait around for hours, but I'll let you make oh, a yeah, phone yeah. call. Yeah. If you got somebody you want to call that can give you some advice, you can do that. All right? Yes, sir. What we're going to do, he's going to finish up here with the car. We're going to run back to the patrol post. Okay. Um, offer you the breath test or whatever you want to do. We'll do our paperwork. Okay. And we'll work on work okay. out here. Was there a registration or insurance card in the blood box? Put this set of keys here. Okay. Good. Yeah. 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 down with your butt first and then slide your feet in. You can do that. That would be a little more comfortable for you. 